Are we supposed to know what we're doing? No? Great. Just checking. I can't stand people who say things like, Just listen to that little voice in your head. You got this. You understand that motherfucker wants me to kill myself and others. Alright, for real. Fuck this whole dating process. Just move your shit in, take your pants off. I'm making waffles. And eat a pound of nachos. Am I 1% nacho? What? If you drop soap on the floor, is the floor clean or is the soap dirty? Dude, what are you talking about? Bruh, which orange came first? The color or the fruit? Huh? Oh wait, you got a point there. If two vegans are arguing, is it still considered beef? Was there something in that apple juice you drank? If you were born deaf, what language would you think in? Ugh. If you get out of the shower clean, how does your towel get dirty? Mm-hmm. If Apple made a car, would it still have windows? Alright, uh, I'm going to bed before I get a contact high from listening to you. Do you guys think that the washer and the dryer are actually friends or just work friends? Well, just found out my wife has been cheating on me because she screamed another man's name during sex. Psst, I don't know what to- yeah, we're not talking anymore. And who names their kid wrong hole? That's not- Whoa there, scroller. You look amazing. All right, good on ya. Wow, all of that. All right, well, but yeah, keep doing you. Lads, did you know that if your girl calls you daddy, you can legally go to the store, buy some milk and some cigarettes, and never come home again? And that's perfectly fine, because they're used to that shit. I'm going to drink caffeine because I can't stay awake. And then I'm going to drink alcohol because I can't fall asleep. I'm gonna do that until I'm dead. Why do you never hang out with any of your friends? Oh, because I don't have them. Oh, that's sad. That's okay, I got tons of strangers. Help, let me out! Oh no. If I ever save someone's life, as soon as I do it, I'm gonna pull out my phone and I'm gonna say the subject is safe. I'm gonna look at them and I'm gonna say your great, 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 great grandson is a very important man. And then I'm gonna take off running. And for the rest of their lives, they will go on thinking that someone from the future saved their life. Isn't it weird that we pay money to see other human beings? Are you talking about prostitution, movies, or airplane tickets? Um, glasses, but oh my god! <sighs> I literally, I, I just can't believe you right now. You literally said it was a cheat day. A cheat day means you can eat a fucking slice of cake, not that you can fuck my sister. The next time somebody sits there and says, wow, you look familiar. I don't want you to say a damn thing yet. I want you to look them dead in the eyes and just in with conviction. I didn't know you liked to watch that kind of shit on the internet. Whoever's getting cuddles tonight, I hope you fall off your bed. Drinking every day don't mean I'm an alcoholic. It means I'm consistent. Just keep in mind, money doesn't buy happiness. No, but it can buy a boat. Can't buy friends, but I can buy cocaine. And then rehab, and then more cocaine. And then relapse therapy. Things go downhill, maybe I'll die. I could pay for your funeral. Psychologist for my kids. Distributed assets in the will. My kids won't have to work. Yet this shouldn't be making sense. Which gives them money to buy cocaine. Okay, no. I just saw a woman outside of the store crying because she had lost $200. So I pulled out my wallet and I gave her $40 out of the $200 I just found. Moral of the story, when God blesses you, you bless others. I just cleaned my whole house and I'm the only trash left. Will you take me out? So I just got out of the doctor's and he goes, don't eat anything fatty. And I go, like what, burgers and fries? And he goes, no. Fatty, don't eat anything. <laughs> Good evening. The person sending you this video wants you to know one thing. You're worth more than chicken nuggets. Now let that sink in. This person is saying that you're worth more to them than food. That's a lot. Hey, baby. What's up? You want to watch football or porn? Uh, porn? You already know how to play football. What the fuck? <sighs> Sometimes when you have to fart, do you ever like spread your butt cheeks so that it comes out like instead of like a fart noise? No. Me neither. I don't. So this guy named Dave is bragging to his friend about how he personally knows literally everybody. 
And his friend is a little skeptical. He's like, you don't know everybody. You don't know, say, Tom Cruise, for example. And Dave goes, oh, yeah, I know Tom Cruise. We go way back. Come on, I'll show you. They fly out to his house in Hollywood, knock on his door, and Tom opens up and goes, Dave, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. And But his friend is still a little bit skeptical. And he's like, fine, what about former President Barack Obama? You don't know him. And he's like, oh, I know Barack. Come on, follow me. They go to his house, knock on his door. Obama opens up and goes, Dave, I haven't seen you in forever. Come inside, have a couple of drinks. But his friend is still not convinced. He goes, fine, what about the Pope? You don't know the Pope. And Dave goes, follow me. And they fly out to the Vatican, but there's a huge crowd of people. And he's like, I'm not going to be able to get the Pope's attention from here. So I'll just go talk to the guards since I know all of them. And I'll just go up and see the Pope. And th- sure enough, 30 minutes later, he's out on the balcony with the Pope. But when Dave is coming back down, he sees his friend is busting out laughing. And he's just like, dude, what's so funny? And he says, I lost it because you came out into the balcony with the Pope. And the guy next to me goes, who the fuck is up there with Dave? Man, let me tell you, I love Mondays at the office, you know? Everyone's back from the weekend, ready to crush the week, you know? Shut the fuck up, John! You hear that energy? It's fantastic!